Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hell with you! Hey, he's in there. Calm down on that track quick now. Out to ditch y'all. Can't do shit right. There'll be others showing up if you'll just be patient. Horse shit! What are we talking about now? Oh my goodness, is it another clan oh, meeting? You said there'd be 25 people here! Oh dear lord. Patience. There's nobody here, dang it, this is a lot of cars. Careful! Oh, man, that's dangerous! Yeah, assholes! Jeez. Oh, 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 Jesus! Oh, oh, the road's oh, cold! Oh, Run for oh, express! Oh, Good God. Well, um... Again... I don't have to do anything here. I just show up and they're already killing themselves. This guy can't be searched. I think his stuff's just toast. Goodness. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, currently on my way to the other side of the map to check something out. That's where we're going to formally start this episode, but, um... You know, uh, I heard some people talking while I was traveling down the road and I was like, I oh, wonder what that is. Oh, it's just the clan killing themselves again. They seem to be, uh, very, very good at that. Is this it? I think this is it. I don't really have a way of knowing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that a bear? I definitely hear a bear. Definitely hear a bear. What would I do if I heard a bear? I'd probably use a double barrel shotgun with explosive slug. <laughs> Easy now. Where's the bear? Don't see the bear. I definitely heard the bear. But I don't see the bear. This is... Not a position I want to be in, where I can hear a bear, but don't see a bear. I don't like that at all. Is there a bear in the cabin? Oh, man. I swear, if there's a bear in this cabin and you guys set me up, I'd be so mad. Of course. Of course! Doggone it, you guys! He killed me! Oh my god! Holy piss! Wow, that... Oh, okay. Okay, so... I've had a few comments telling me that there was a cabin... South-southwest of Hanging Dog Ranch, which is that one over there that I should check out. Of course, you guys are trying to get me killed. You abandoned your legendary animal. Visit the nearest fence and trapper to access the quality parts and pelt for crafting. You abandoned your legendary animal. Oh, I must have had a legendary animal on the back of ASCII. I've, I've been carrying pelts forever. <sighs> Holy crap. All right, well, you know what? I'm going after the bear. He's just south from here. I mean, I'm... <laughs> I'm nothing if not a little stupid. Yeah. So the bear is in the cabin. And Asky's like, dude, why, we, why are we going back here? I'm not going to hit you, because I want you to be able to run. I'm going to need weapons. I don't think I was off the mark by having... <laughs> having a double-barreled shotgun. I'm assuming the bear's still gonna be in there. That's just an event. Oh, I really don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. And there's no way to look into the cabin otherwise. Oh, there was a back door. Okay, so is the bear gone? I guess so. 
All right, so you can only get attacked by the bear once. Ugh. Dang. If I would have known that I could have just walked around, <laughs> then that would have been different. Pipe. Pipe. It's odd. Wasn't there wasn't there someone like really really early in the game that needed the pipe? I can't help but feel someone it was a camp request. Sadie wants the harmonica. It's not going to show me the old ones. And then, of course, people die and stuff, but I, I feel almost certain that someone wanted a pipe earlier in the game. There's some candy. Cabin's a lot less scary when it's not filled with a frickin' bear. But now I'm also paranoid that the bear's going to come back. But it looks like we're probably okay. Black Widow. Yeah, no thanks. Got enough of those... Got enough of those in my garage. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the stuff here. I was kinda hoping for a little bit of lore, and not just, hey, Steven, go... journey all the way to the west side of the map. Oh wait, there is something here. Dear Annabella Poem. Now that's of interest. What's this say? You told me not to write, yet knew I must. Please read this through. Here I have made a home for both of us, if you but knew. Beneath Mount Shan, my little cabin lies, enclosed by trees. My work goes well. Here peace and open skies bring health and ease. To simple life, no crowds, no strife, no cause of restless sleep, no lawlessness, because there are no laws but ours to keep. How are the boys? I miss them every day. Oh, let them come. They eat fresh fish and breathe clean air and play and feel the sun. Oh, it's, there's more. <laughs> You are afraid to leave all that you know. I understand. Have faith, my Annabella. Love shall grow in fertile land. That's sweet. There's not going to be, a, like, a bear kill me, right? Because a bear killed this guy. And also, technically me. Um, we don't talk about that. There's nothing else in here that I'm missing? I don't think so. Well, this was a nice little thing to discover. Um, it was horrifying and that bear is gone and the thing is I was mashing break free and bear ate my face off dang for the record if anyone else is interested in uh, giving the bear a shot in their own game this is where I'm at Veathers Echo on the west side of the map alright now with all that being done uh, we need to return to the east side of the map because I heard that I get a leather back at camp hey you are you gonna give me the chance to redeem myself, or what? Oh, hey, it's you, the sharpshooter. Um, yes. You have a chance to redeem yourself right after I put some food into my belly that restores my dead eye. Um, ba 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 doop boop bourbon. I know I got you beat this time. Let's put some money on it, huh? Yes. Yes, sir. I would love to do that. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, let's do 15 bucks. Fine by me, friend. Fine by me. Good. Okay, let's do this. You know how this goes. The one who shoots the most bottles wins. Okay, let me get a, like a... Okay, I guess these are fine. They don't shoot fast. The firing rate is, is low. But I left all my guns on my horse. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right? <laughs> Can you give me a second hey, to get the? You'll need to get a little closer. Let me get a repeater, because I will I will in absolutely do better with a uh, with a repeater. Uh, high velocity. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, fire rate. What's my fastest firing gun? The varmint rifle. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't have thought to use that, but like, I guess that'll work. Well, should we get this going or what? Yeah, sorry, man. I just figured I'd, I'd give this a shot. All right. Sorry. I'm not trying to get Come in on, on your personal man, space. Let's get shooting. After all that practice. Not enough, I guess. 
That was just a one-off, man. A fluke. Let's go again. Hold on. <laughs> I need to eat this. Real money. What's real money? Thirty bucks. Yeah, man. Come on. All right, let's do it. Could win real. Aha! That's a good call, amigo. All right. Real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Does varmint rifles work with that? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be oh patient. Boy. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Oh god. Don't waste. Oh god. Did I kill? Uh, no, it says I got four. You know how to shoot, okay? Correct. Ah, uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. I can decline, but I won't. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. I appreciate these little challenges, buddy, but, um... I can, like, slow down time. <laughs> So it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be a uphill battle for you. Wait, what? What's going on over here? What's up with the mayor here? Welcome to our fair city. Citizens, enjoy yourselves. Visitors Amuse yourselves. Okay. We are a simple mountain town for people who believe in a better, wiser, kinder America. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey there. Good day, kind sir. Hello. Enjoy our fair town in peace and be nice. Be nice. Okay. I've never seen the mayor Welcome before. To Strawberry, my friends. And to those that live here, stay here. We're a fine town for fine people. This is weird. An oasis of culture and civilization in the West. American ingenuity, European sophistication, fine architecture, and above all, Good manners, all here in West Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, this is really odd. Why have I never seen the mayor before? Be well, my proud people. Be well and be happy. This is the welcome. I don't think I've ever been in here. Hi. Oh. Hello again, sir. Uh, hello again. You are, uh, look like a man in need of some of this fine strawberry air. So you're the expert now. Oh, uh, hardly. Just making conversation. Forget I said anything. Huh. I don't need a room or anything. It's just... I've never seen the mayor outside talking. Also, screw bears, man. God. I know. We have transformed Strawberry into a veritable Versailles of the West. A, a Venice in the mountains. Manhattan without the pollution. We are a sophisticated place for sophisticated folk. So welcome one. Hello. I don't think I gave a receipt last time, did I? Let me do that right now. Man, I actually thought the coach robbery missions were done. I was gonna just take a uh, stagecoach back to the now, east then? side. Or no. But eh, there's another robbery mission. So what should we probably do at? it while I'm over here. This is a big one. Armored bank and coach heading into Strawberry. You'll probably need something to blow the doors. All right. Good seeing you, Hector. Inspect the note. It says, 
Head out west past Owen Gila, uh, banking coach coming from the north, armored with heavy security, cash locked inside, act careful. For what it's worth, I think at this point in the game, Arthur probably wouldn't be doing coach missions. Um, but I also don't want to miss out on them because they're they're finite. There are just a set number of them. So that's my reasoning for wanting to do them. But as far as like his his character, I don't feel like it really yeah. makes sense now. Let's go, boy. I feel like he cares about money less now than any other time. But I'm very dedicated to showing off the missions. Also, where am I going? <laughs> I still have my marker set. This mission is to yeah, it's over here to the north. All right, I can, uh, I can make this happen. I realized in my haste to put my pig mask on and get away from my horse that I didn't bring any other weapons. So this is going to go well. Oh, I'm about to get run over. Oh, God! Oh, this is bad. This robbery is not going good. Not at all. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. This is getting away from me. This is getting away from me. Um, I don't really want to put ASCII in danger, but how on earth am I ever going to catch that stagecoach? I was supposed to bring them to a stop, and they are not stopping. Oh, God. I need to eat some meat on the way. I don't need to fully restore- well, I guess I could. Come on. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is like, really, really bad. This has never happened. Crap. I need to stop all these guys before they get into town. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think I got it stopped. Oh my god, that was that was almost bad. Place time I on this code. How do I do that? No idea how to do that. Is it on this side? Or is it just blow open this? Well, here goes something. I didn't kill any horses. That's good. Loot the coach. Loot the coach. Loot the coach. And I killed some horses. Uh, how get money? Loot coach. Oh, I just walk up to it and press Y. Put away the lit dynamite, please, God. What's in here? Did I get something out of this? Askey, we gotta we gotta split, man. That Time to go, boy. That's a good that's a good indication that my, my robbery days are over. Holy crap. I'm so good though. You lose you lose some uh some good points sometimes when you uh, kill horses. But not when performing robberies and killing people, uh, for money. So that's good. Alright, now maybe I can finally head east. Hey, mister, have you seen my dog? I I've been looking everywhere for her. Your dog? She's been gone for hours. Can you help me find her, please? Yeah, I... sure. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. She's a foxhound. You know, white and brown. I if you find her, I live in a house on the edge of town. Thank you, mister. Oh man, well, I was leaving town. There's suddenly all these new little missions to do. Let's see, do I pick up any... Uh, there's scents, but... Of course, the scents are from people that are just, like, chilling here. That's the, that's the horse. Alright, I can't let someone just lose their dog. I gotta help them find the... Oh, I hear a dog. Where's the dog? I... I hear a dog. Where's the dog? Is the dog in the house? Or is it over here? Did 
Doggy? Where's the dog? The dog's like on the freaking mountain. How do I get to the dog? Okay, well, I'm glad that I have a vague idea where the dog is. I, don't, I have no idea how to get up there. All right, I'm... I guess I have to walk around. Let me just walk over here. I found the dog pretty quick, and also my, my eagle scent... senses, whatever, did not really assist me that much. I better not fall off this freaking thing. Come on, Arthur. Climb up. Alright, puppy, where are you at? Where are you at, buddy? I know you're up here somewhere. There you are. Come here, girl. What you doing? Turn the dog to the kid. Well, don't go that way. Let's get you home. You following me? Can we get down from... Yeah, we can go this way. Come on, girl. Oh, your buddy missed you, girl. Oh, that's sweet. I have no idea how to get down on this side, but... I'll try. Is the dog coming? Do I have to keep calling the dog? Where are you going? This... this. Come on. I don't want to scold you. I just want you to follow me. You found her. That's right, I found her. <laughs> so good to see you, girl. <laughs> That's a happy dog. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, mister. We ain't never spent a night apart. She's the closest thing to a family I got left. Glad I could help. You take care of her now. Oh, sweet. You keep an eye on her, kid. I will, mister. Thank you. You are welcome. Now, for the love of God, I have got to get to the east. It's you! My friend! This guy My friend? What? Hey there, buddy. What's going on? Come here. Uh, howdy. For you. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, are you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that it, if it were a bear that got trapped in it, it would have been trapped real good. Yeah, but you trapped your own damn self instead, didn't you? You know, I sure hope it don't happen to you someday. Fair enough. Well, I got a mosey. You take care of that leg. I will. I will. How do you do? Yep. Uh, well, Jenkins, I appreciate it, but guess what? I just finished on, at the gunsmith just to see if there was anything else I didn't have or, like, any ammo I needed. And I'm literally stocked up. Like, there's nothing I could even buy from the gunsmith. So, thanks for the thought? Well, even though things are falling apart around here, they're still making the stew, which I appreciate. God, it feels like it's been a while since I've been back here. Unlike most of you whiners, I've been in some real tight spots. And this ain't even a goddamn spot, let alone a tight one. I felt rope around my neck more than once. Don't scare me. This don't scare me neither, not one little bit. Way I see it, 
way I see it, these things prove what you made of, prove what you is. And right now, too many of yous is proving precisely what you is, and it's like something I went and stepped in. No offense, mind. At least not to them that's gonna quit moaning. What are you talking about? You moan more than anyone. I moan about the moaners. Right. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Pearson? Oh, hi, Arthur. How are you holding up? Not so good. What are we gonna do, Mr. Morgan? Just hang in there, okay? Okay, Mr. Morgan. So, here we are. I like what you've done with the place. As long as it keeps folk away, I don't care. Well, try to keep your head straight. Yep, Arthur. What's with you? Are you gonna throw me out like Strauss? Maybe, if it comes to it. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Whatever, Morgan. Such a friend in Bill. It's interesting to see how things are. It's almost feels like a million years ago that we had a camp full of people with excitement and, more importantly, hope. Hey, buddy. You okay, Jack? Is Mr. Strauss gone? Yeah, he had to leave. Sorry. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. He had to leave. I mean, uh, it's not technically incorrect. Where's everyone else? Someone laying down here. I guess I am back late. I didn't know if Dutch was around. Just kind of curious. All right, so I had a leather. Where's this leather? Let's check it out. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. That is a name I haven't heard in forever. Holy crap. Interesting. Yeah, um... Yeah, we can do that. We got a little flower here. I think I've had this since the beginning of the game. Not sure it's ever been explained. All right, um, let's uh, let's end the episode by checking checking the journal. There's been quite a few new entries, and I want to make sure we uh, keep up with them. The last thing we read was was this. I just hope we can keep ahead of them for a while or or ahead of ourselves. You never know who you're going to meet down a dark alley. <laughs> That's true. All right. Met a one-legged man, war veteran, interesting fella, said to come by his cabin on the other side of Oak Cree's run. Maybe I will. Went back to that place, Butcher's Creek. The locals thought they were being attacked by demons, but I think they were just sick dogs. Seems like Obadiah the Elder is also possessed by the snake oil shaman. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to address this. I said shaman because that's that's a pronunciation that we use. Um, shaman is probably more common, but you can say both. But but for the purposes here, shaman, fella that turned up. Uh, he wants me to destroy some cursed charms in the woods around there. We shall see quite what the shaman's game is, but there's some uh, nonsense afoot. Destroyed those charms. Went back to the village. Now the shaman announces things are worse because I destroyed the charms. Remarkably convenient. I was about to give him a beating when he ran off. The elder said the shaman was interested in a mine shaft. Perhaps, perhaps that's worth a look. Went to the mine looking to figure what, 
what hold that weird shaman has over the village. I don't know why exactly, it just seemed important, I guess. The whole place was filthy and something nasty was leaking into the water in the soil. Now, I'm no expert, but that stuff might well explain why the folks in Butcher Creek are so odd. Anyway, I made my way back to the village armed with this knowledge and a little of the evil-looking water. Lo and behold, I find the shaman trying to force that duped elder into signing away his and the village's property rights, or rights to get a mining company to leave. It was not quite clear which. The, sham, the sham shaman, that's funny, starts attacking me, so I force him to drink some of the runoff. He admits all, promptly loses his mind, and I'm waiting around to be treated like the hero I am, or not. The villagers blamed the curse. At this point, I left them to dream to their dreams of specters. For some insane reason, <clears throat> I went out gathering debts for Strauss. Whole business revolted me. Bunch of sad, desperate bastards and me, their worst nightmare. I'd had enough of the whole business, so I ran Strauss out of the camp. Whole business of loaning revolted me. Turns out it's going to kill me, too, so I guess that's about right. Probably did Strauss a favor running him out of camp, but either way, I could not bear to see his beady little eyes no more. It's either that poor soldier and his squaw wife will be with me when I die. Went to see the fella Hamish Sinclair. He's quite a sportsman and outdoorsman. Went fishing for pike. Got him in the end. Wants to take me hunting. Ah, Hamish, not the pike. Hamish. Saw that Downs kid getting beat up, so I helped him. Maybe I shouldn't have killed his poor father if I cared so goddamn much. What a conflicted fool I've become, or have always been. Then I tried to rescue his mother, who was in the process of getting herself murdered. Maybe she wanted that, I don't know. She looked at me like I am what I am, a killer seeking out salvation. Only I'm not. I, I don't want saving. I don't deserve it. I just want to help a few folk. I'm sure as shit I owe her. Felt like a fraud and a fool, but at least I did something. Wonder who lived here. That was a little Shire house. Saw the two strange boys and the girl they claimed to love once again. This time, it was real strange. I mean, it was strange before this. Uh, before this time, it was, well, real strange. They got me to push them off a waterfall in a barrel. They both somehow survived, just about. But then they turned on the girl and went off together like two happy peas in a pod. Not sure what to think about the whole business. Hamish and I got to chatting. Then we went hunting this wolf he'd been after, only we'd realize we suddenly realized the bastards were hunting us, not the reverse. Eventually I got the pack leader and they let us be. A real lucky escape. Felt nice though. Of course I lost that because I got attacked by a freaking bear. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode we will be tackling Penelope Braithwaite. Again, a name we haven't heard in quite a while. I thought the game was done with her and the game said no. There's still more. To, uh, to deal with with uh, Penelope and Bo, so I guess we'll find out soon. See you next time for more Stephen Plays, Red Dead Redemption 2.